Hello and welcome back to episode 26 here on Ohio Richlands. We're just finishing off this contract here on field 25. It does pay out a decent sum of money. That will help our bank balance, but we've still got a bit of a loan to pay off. Hopefully, I'm hoping to pay off about £40,000 of it later on, and that'll still leave £40,000 uh, to pay off. There is a couple of contracts through we're going to work our way through today. Uh, we'll talk a bit more later on in this episode about advancing the farm, because obviously most of the episodes coming out, you're, it's about a month between them. I'm trying to reduce it down to maybe two to three weeks for every episode. Obviously that depends on work and, you know, real life. But I'm thinking to advance the farm quicker and allow us to do more things in each episode, I was thinking to take out a $500,000 loan from the bank so that we obviously have to pay it back and we're charged interest on it. That way it allows us to purchase a field uh, to grow more things on. Uh, it allows us to buy possibly a couple of you know, other things around the farm, like we need a manure spreader, we need a slurry spreader. We need a couple of things um, that will allow us to purchase that and to expand the farm, you know, almost instantly within the next episode, which would be episode 27. Uh, or episode 28, depends how it goes. I want to hear from you guys to see what we're going to do and how we're going to go about it. Because I, I know you don't want to sit there and watch a whole episode of just harvesting fields or just cultivating or just seeding, you know. So that's what my think, my thought is, get a $500,000 loan or an amount that you guys could say, you know, it could be six, it could be 750,000. Uh, it just depends on what you guys think. It's enough to get us maybe one, possibly two fields, some implements for the farm, but we have to pay that loan back, um, you know, plus interest. But see what we think of that. I'll get on finish this field, uh, we'll collect the money and we'll see where the day takes us. $6,342. So now I've got $78,514 in the bank. I'm hoping something else comes through today. But for now, we are going to pay some of that $80,000 loan back. I think if we pay off $40,000, so it leaves us with $40,000 left and $38,500 in the bank. If something else does come through later today, that's great. We'll pay a bit more into the loan. But as I was saying earlier, where are we? Field 17 here. So, this is worth 305,000. It's ideal because it can just expand our yard. So is this field as well, but it's almost 500,000. So there is a big difference between that. There is another field here, five, and this little field of grass here, but it's, it's the other side of the map for us really. And um, there is a little 33 and 34, but again, it's too far away. We want to try and keep it all centered around the yard area. So I'll fast forward time a little bit and see if anything else comes through. We 
did a little contract earlier this morning and we have jumped straight into potatoes. It is a really good paying contract and we have leased the equipment from the farmer. But I think we may have bitten off a bit more than we can chew. I have started a little bit in this field. That trailer is full already at 40,000 litres. And this machine is getting pretty full and once again uh, just under 20,000 litres. But we have this whole field to do. Field 32. So I can see this taking most of the day, if not all of the day. But I don't want to bore you sitting looking at me going around the same field with this little... I don't even how, know how wide the, the tool is on the front. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to just crack on with this and reap the rewards, I suppose. Well, I take it the potatoes go to the other bit just here. This is the first load. We do have the actual tractor we hired with the contract. It is in the field and is also full. Can't remember how much uh, litres it takes. Well, I messed that up, didn't I? There we go. So we haven't really got far through the field at all. Um, in fact, we've just started. Um, it's only 10 past 10, but this is going to take us most of the day and by the looks of it, well into the night and possibly into tomorrow morning. Well, there you go. 3% transported. So we'll go down. I think we'll put a worker onto the other tractor, get him up to tip and come back down. And um, we'll see you back in the field. Well, it's happened again. The worker was let loose and, well, this is what happened. So we'll get this uh, guy out of this sticky situation and we'll head back down the field and we'll do a little montage because this takes quite a while. <laughs> down to the farm quickly and uh, we're cutting this grass because it's at the perfect height for us we'll get maximum yield out of it hopefully and uh, so I'll finish cutting up this we'll ted it and then we'll bale it up for hay and put it in the shed hopefully if I can get two or three bales it's just something extra for us using for the TMR mix as you can see on the left there we do have a new uh, item in our farm it is the greenhouse it is quite large. It did cost us, I think it was just over $30,000. Wasn't much over. Um, but we did have a slight issue. The silage pit did have 200, and I think it was 9,000 litres. Just over, just under 209,000 litres. And it currently has 118,000 in it. So we wiped out 90,000 litres while I put down the, I think it was asphalt or concrete texture. Um, I know this now for future and um, if you're in the same position with editing terrain and you know putting textures down don't do it when there's silage in the pit or you know work around the pit and be very cautious because we wiped out almost a hundred thousand litres of silage I will keep note if you see it in a future episode we'll work from the pit for a start and then we will tally up what we use until I've accumulated the 90,000 litres that we lost uh, but apart from that we're gonna be growing flowers in there they do sell for a good price at least from what I've seen, and they do produce quite a lot quite quickly, or over a 24 hour period, so we should recoup that $30,000 pretty quickly. It's just something else we're doing to try and expand the farm and get where we need to be even quicker. But I'll continue on with this, we'll get it tedded and bailed up, and we'll see you for another montage up in the potato field.
Well, that's the potato harvest finally completed. It has taken a really long time. And we started at about 8 o'clock yesterday morning. And that's us just finishing up now at half past one the following morning. Let's just jump out to get a better view. So what we sell here will just go into income because we've already completed the contract. I think we've had about $8,000 so far in income. So this just adds to that. Uh, 2700 So that puts us back up to $11,303. I did actually check if we jump out of this because it's a way to disappear. Jump back into our John Deere. There we go, $56,856 for that contract, but the lease of the harvester and the tractor trailer came with $3,790. I actually did the maths. Uh, the potato harvester in the game, if you were to lease it, you would be $17,970 straight off for the base cost and your first day. We ran into the second day, so there'd be another day on top of that, so that's another almost $6,000 and it charges you $12,500 per machine hour. So the total cost for that, if we had rented the machine from the shop instead of the farmer, it would have came to almost $90,000. So we've saved $86,000 there. But we will collect that money, which is well needed. I don't think we're gonna do any more contracts just now, because I don't know if you've already seen it or not, but we have a new greenhouse installed at the farm and that is to be producing flowers but we need to go and get the low loader first thing in the morning and we are going to go and pick up some seed bags and fertilizer and make a start on getting that greenhouse going it's already got water i did top it up when i was down at the farm cutting the grass and baling up the hay we are still looking at getting the grain silo system but I'm trying to think of another direction to go because obviously you know with the videos it, it takes quite a while to publish them between work and just general real life getting in the way. I was debating whether or not to keep going with this series the way we're going, working up to you know wherever we go or take a big bank loan of say a half million dollars that will allow us to purchase possibly a couple of implements. Uh, the field behind us, possibly another smaller field around the map and just advance a bit quicker so that we advance further in a shorter period of time which allows me to put the same content out, the same distance apart, you know I'm aiming for about two to three weeks um, but obviously we'll advance a lot quicker so every two or three weeks we'll be doing more in that one episode but I'm still debating on whether or not to do that so I think possibly this episode and maybe the next one will still be, you know, see how we get on and how far we get. But we get some rest just now and we'll go down to the shop first thing in the morning, grab some seed and fertilizer bags and we'll see you back at the farm. Well, morning everyone. We've already been down to the shop and picked up 8,000 litres of fertilizer, which cost us $14,500 another 8,000 litres of seeds which was $8,820 so it's a quite an expense this morning but this should hopefully allow us to get this greenhouse started and at least making some sort of money so flowers look like a good option okay, I think we can squeeze through here you will notice a slight error with the silage pit there. I was laying down gravel and concrete for here and in the process took out most of the pit. I think there's about 90,000 litres of silage missing which is not ideal but we are gonna fix that or we're just gonna keep an eye on what we've used uh, as we go so that we know what we've got left. that take everything it needed? How much does this greenhouse take? Oh right, I, I bought way too much. So yeah, I thought it was maybe 10,000 litres of fertiliser and seeds, but no. 
two and a half thousand liters. So we have, uh, yeah, we have way too much left. It's um, it's picked out of different bags, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, um, I'm trying to debate where to store this. Actually, we can maybe put it up in that shed there. And we'll need to make a TMR mix some point today. Give that to the cows. Just keep them topped up. And we're going to need to see about doing something with the slurry and the manure. Because it is slowly building up. And park it in this end, I think. Am I going to make it? Yeah. Leave that there. Oh, I must have taken a sign with me. Oh well. I don't know where that came from. So yeah, we'll jump in the smaller tractor and um, we'll need to get the bucket on the telehandler. This throttle's sticking again. Check up on the animals and see what we need to do today. Right, that is the production ready. At least it should be. Yes, water seed, solid fertilizer, and we are going to activate flowers. So it should give us 3,120, either 3,100 liters of flowers, or two times, because there's two in every cycle, I think. I'm not sure. We have to wait and see. Well, it started. Here we go. There's one liter already, which is good, and they should come out somewhere here. So we'll see what that looks like later on today. Um, for the moment, we need to check on the animals. So cows. Yes, as I said, we're going to make a TMR mix. Feed them that. S the slurry. We could do something about the. It's not showing up manure, but there is manure up here. Can't remember how much there is though, but it can't be far from the slurry. What have we got here? So 20,000, say 20 and a half thousand litres. And we have 29,000, almost 30,000 litres of slurry. So we're going to have to do something about that. Hey, sheep. Yep, grass is fine. Water, it's pretty good. We're going to need to get them to take some wool down to the spinnery because it's quite low. We've only got 740 litres left. There should be a pallet down there waiting for us as well, I think. Um, what are we doing? Animals. And chickens. Yeah, we could throw in some food for them as well. And we'll need to clear the eggs out because they're getting quite a lot up there. As you can see, we cut this field in a time lapse as well. The bales are all inside. And the only problem we had, obviously, was the silage bit. I was putting down concrete to kind of level off and make that area full of gravel and took away some of the concrete at the side. So I put the concrete back and used too big of a... Yep. So, not ideal. But we'll get some stuff down around the farm and have a quick check. In fact, we could check now, actually, what contracts have we got? Still the same as yesterday. And our field of sorghum. Is it ready? No. When does it come ready? Sorghum at the pond. Ah, okay. So it could be tomorrow because I'm running two or three day months. So yeah, that'll be ready tomorrow. And we'll need to rent another header again. So we need to keep money for that. So let's get going for today. Well, here we are, bright and early the next day. We've picked up two contracts. It was originally just going to be the one on field two here, the sorghum, uh, because that's the only other crop ready. Our field is ready as well, and obviously we need to rent the header. I thought the contract's worth $4,500, and the header cost 
for that in the trailer is about five and a half thousand. So we can recoup some of the costs back for doing our own crop if we did this one. So I'm working away on this one just now. And there is actually a worker up on field 32. And he is cultivating that field. That was the potatoes we just did. So we will crack on and get this done. check and see how much sorghum we have in our bin. 26,000 litres, okay. And price is 385 for the best. Oh, so it is right down. Hmm. Because it's going to take some of this to complete the contract and we're going to have excess. We've also got our field to combine as well. Which is going to leave us with Quite a substantial amount, there we go. So, 2,800 litres off of this field. Hmm. If I just sell this. So, alright. That's given us 1,600 in income. Plus that, that gives us about $400 on top of the rent for the header and header trailer. So we can collect that, and the cultivating on field 32 has been completed as well at $17,767. There's nothing left to do just now, apart from go down and harvest our field of sorghum. So we're going to get that done, hopefully quite quickly. I don't think it's going to be before 10 o'clock, uh, but we'll try anyway, so we don't get another cost for the header. And we'll have made money harvest in our own field by renting the header. So we'll head down there, get the combine going and we'll see you down there.
leave it there for this episode. It's been quite a while uh, doing that potato contract. We did bite off a little more than we can chew, to be honest. But we've got it done. We've got the trailer load of sorghum now, and we have 6,300 litres of sorghum left in the combine. So once we tip that into our bin, we'll come back down and get the rest. But we'll do that all in the next episode. But thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again in the next one very soon.